Today I want to talk to you about ClassLink. There is a link on every district page right here at the top and you may have, have some introduction to it but I want to show you just a couple of features that you might find useful right away. So when you go to this page and you, you log in, you just log in with your username and password. This would be whatever you use to log on to your computer. And then you're going to have a, different options depending on your role in the classroom. Uh, some of you might have uh, some other options here based on whether you teach a certain math program or what have you. Uh, here are the ones that I have. First, at the bottom, we can toggle between apps and files. And this is one thing that you might be familiar with. I'm going to toggle between my, uh, I can go to my U drive, but I can see all the stuff that I have had in the U drive uh, in the past. If I want to go back to my apps, I can go this way. So we have a couple of options here. I want to look at two in particular. One of them first is Destiny Discover. Now students actually have access to this as well. They would have to log in with their username and password. And then when you get to this point, you can look at uh, Destiny a little bit different way. You can browse by topic. Uh, you can even get some ebooks. And so what I want to do is take a look at some of these extra things here and what maybe students can do or what you can do with ebooks. So if I clicked on CL 828 ebooks, and I am a football person and I thought this is pretty awesome, I can either open it and take a look at it right away. And again, students can do this, and the great thing about it is it's saved to their files. So if I'm taking a look at it and I thought, hey, this looks pretty pretty great, I would like to check it out. I can go back, and then I can check it out. And now it's assigned to me. So if I were to log in at home, I could see this. If I had a tablet at home, I could read it on a tablet or even a phone. But this is an ebook that you could read. And then students can go in and then they can see, hey, what do I have checked out? And it will list not only things that um, they have checked out that are ebooks, but also anything else they have checked out from the library. Apparently, I have a video camera that's checked out from last year. If you go in as yourself, you will find that too. I didn't want this anymore. I'm going to just return it. So that's one thing that we can do with. Um, with the destiny link here. So I'm going to go back here. The other thing that I found really interesting is Discovery Education. Now this was made to replace Safari, but it's got so much more capability to it. Students, again, can log into it. They'll have a little bit less functionality than what you have. But just to even get us started, if I were to type in a keyword up here because I'm teaching a unit on dinosaurs, it's going to bring up all sorts of things. And I'm going to guess it's probably a K2 program. So I can find content collections, just some resources. Even there's some songs that are available. So instead of going out and searching Google for all these things, it's really all in one spot. Uh, there, as you can see here, we have other options here. There's even an interactive where if I had to do a quiz show. Okay. So there's lots of stuff on here that you can use. Um, for teaching. And then what students could also do is something called a board. So theirs, again, is going to look a little bit different, but if they went to Builder Tools for you, you can see something about building a board. And a board is, think of it as a digital poster board, think of it as Glogster, but again, all this is saved in Discovery Ed and they're logged in. So I can enter a title here and then And then I can add, you can see where it's saved, I can add all sorts of different things on here. I can add text, I can add pictures, I can add videos, I can have my own uh, attachments. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and again, because it's all web-based, it's all saved here, and you can get to it from wherever you are. Now, I would like to offer, uh, if you want a little class instruction on this, and maybe using the, the Destiny system, I can certainly come into your classroom and show your kids how to use that. 
Uh, I do plan on putting together some sort of professional development beginning in January to look at Discovery Ed a little bit more, get into that and actually have some time to practice. But I wanted to give you a quick five minute video list today about what are some of the options that are out there so if you're ready to explore, you can certainly get started. And again, please let me know when I can come in, give you or your class a hand with some of this stuff as it is pretty new for all of us. Thanks.